Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a continuous bias strip using the tubing technique. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Working on the wrong side of your fabric the first thing you need to do is draw out your bias strip. First create a rectangle on the bias of your fabric and then mark out the width and keep them equal in between each one. And the next thing you need to do is cut out your rectangular shape, go all the way around and I'm going to continue cutting the rest of the rectangle. As you can see I've cut out my rectangular shape but I haven't cut the individual strips. The next thing to do is fold your fabric to the right side and then this is where the trick happens, we don't want that to be even. We're going to match the raw edge here, so we're matching up the smaller sides and we're going to put that matching up with the first line for the bias tape and put a pin in place and then another pin further down and making sure that that matches up as well. Let me just put another one in the middle, just there. And then, then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and do a seam. So if I just show you what it looks like, something like that, it looks a little bit awkward but it needs to be that formation. I'm going to start sewing on the first line within the rectangle and that is where the other side of the fabric meets and I'm going to be using the width of my presser foot and the stitch length I'm using is 1.5 as well. You want to keep it small because um, you will be cutting into the strips of fabric and you just don't want it to unravel. Pull your pins out as you go. the stitching move it from my foot so that's how tiny the stitch length is there we have our bias tube with just one row of stitching which just creates one seam now to create your continuous length of bias strip cut along the lines that you've marked and it's going to be like a spiral kind of effect of you actually turning it and cutting, turning and cutting. So you're going to keep on doing that until you get right to the end and you, you won't get confused it's just a case of keep on cutting and when you come to the end you'll know. As you can see I'm almost coming to the end, so that's going to be the end. I'm going to keep on turning and cutting. It is actually a great way of creating bias strips if you've got a lot of strips that you need for a certain sewing project. And as you can see, you just come straight to the end, cut off, and then you have your length of bias strip. Using the bias tubing technique is a great way to producing large amounts of bias strip. All that is required is one seam and you just cut along those straight lines and there you have your bias strips. If you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time. 